keeps his promises. When you look at that hand pointing on the screen, who is that hand pointing to? It's you, not Solid D. God promised that young man that look, I will make you successful in the line that you have chosen. Like God has said concerning every one of us, say it to the righteous, it shall be I'm going to be believed that it shall be well with you. God keeps his promise. That's why in number 23, 19, it says, God is not a man that should lie, nor the son of man. If he has said it, he shall do it. Everything that God has promised concerning you, he surely will fulfill at the timing that God has chosen. So God promised the young man, I'm going to make you to be successful in the area of ministration. And that leads us to number two. Point number two. However, the promise and the blessings of God are meant for, for His glory. Many of us just like that young man saw the day. When the blessings arrive, you forget the source of the blessing. And you begin to enjoy it for yourself and everything else outside of God. I pray that as many of us as have forgotten the giver of the gift, today you retrace your steps in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For number three, no matter what we are going through, don't look for help outside of God. Oh yes, Solidis family had some financial difficulties. But going to start singing with the black, uh, what was it, black coffee or whatever they were called, it's not the solution. For some of you, you have been waiting on God for the fruit of the womb for a long time. But you forget the word of God that says, none shall be barren in my house, not even among their cattle. It's a matter of time. What God has said, it shall surely come to pass. So never, never look for help outside of God. Isaiah 43, verse 11 on the screen, it says, Beside me, there is no Savior. Beside God, there is no Savior anywhere. And point number four, Remain faithful and fruitful for God. I'm putting this one very mildly. But when you study John 15 verse 2, it says every branch that does not bear fruit, what does the Father do? He will cut it off. What that is saying to you, as you saw happen to that young man, God went and looked for a replacement. If you will not do what God has destined for you to do for him, what will God do? God will look for a replacement. I pray that will not be your situation in Jesus' name. Yeah. Everything that God has proposed for your life, to do for me, you will accomplish in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. And then finally, glorify God with everything that you have. Every one of us has many things that we can use for the glory of God. The most common amongst us is the gift of time. How much of your time do you spend? for the things of God and for the glory of God? How much of your talent do you use for the glory of God? Like the solid deed that you just finished watching. He had his own, but he exchanged his destiny. 
I pray that whatever it is that God has released it unto your life, your time, your talent, your money, everything that you have, you will use for the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. All eyes closed. You are here this morning. You just want to surrender to the lover of your soul. You say, Pastor, pray for me, pray with me. I just want to give my life to Jesus. I want to become born again. If that is you, just lift up your hand. I just want to pray with you very quickly. Say, Pastor, pray for me, pray with me. I need Jesus in my life. I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Just lift up that hand. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. Just lift it up very well. God bless you, my brother. Lift it up so I can see you. God bless you. Just lift up that hand very well. God bless you. God bless you. Just come forward. God bless you, my brother. Just come forward. God bless you, my sister. Just come forward. God bless you. Let's clap for them as they come. Say, Pastor, pray for me. Pray with me. I want to give my life to Christ. I want to become born again. Let's clap for them as they come. You can do better than that. Let's clap for them as they come.